In many ways, 11-year-old Liam and his 15-year-old sister Neve are like any other siblings. But life for them is much harder. They were both adopted as babies because they have fetal alcohol syndrome, caused by their birth mothers drinking heavily during pregnancy. Both of ours are slightly ADHD. They both struggle to pay attention, to stay on task. They have memory problems as well, so especially the short-term memory. They socially struggle. They can be kind of like everybody's suddenly their best friend. So our daughter is great at parties because she introduces everybody to everybody. But the problem is she's forgotten your name the instant you told her. Fetal alcohol syndrome is caused by drinking too much alcohol during pregnancy and can lead to physical deformities and learning disabilities. Now a test case at the Court of Appeal could have implications for all pregnant women. The position here was that the child was born with fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. It will decide whether a seven-year-old girl who was left brain damaged by her mother's drinking is a victim of crime and therefore entitled to compensation. We're talking about poisoning and the original tribunal found that the child in this case had been poisoned by excess alcohol. It's about compensation and it's not about criminalising women. But this doctor who runs a clinic for those affected by fetal alcohol syndrome is worried that it could penalise pregnant women and drive drinking underground. You often find even now that people don't always want to talk about it and this will just make it worse. My view is on those people who drink heavily, who need help, we should be helping them, not making them feel worse about it. NHS guidelines say pregnant women who choose to drink should have only one or two units a week. But those dealing with fetal alcohol syndrome, like Liam and Neve's parents, say any alcohol during pregnancy simply isn't worth the risk. Leila Hayes, 5 News.